Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a meal prep video for you guys. So I'm going to be meal prepping a few meals. I recently went on a vacation. I was away for Christmas and while I was gone the first two to three days, I did really well. And by day four, I kind of just caved and I started stuffing my face, eating way too much junk food and drinking. And then once I got back home from vacation, I never really got back on track. So I'm pretty sure I gained quite a few pounds over this Christmas break. So it is time to get back on track. My kids finally go back to school tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday, so we will be back on our regular schedule. So I figured today's Sunday, I might as well go ahead and meal prep some stuff so it'll get me motivated to start this new week. I am going to be meal prepping breakfast and also lunch slash dinner. I usually don't eat breakfast just because I'm not a breakfast person and also I'm usually not that hungry in the morning, but I know it's an important meal of the day. So I'm gonna try to start eating breakfast in the morning and maybe it'll help me stay full throughout the day a little longer. So as far as breakfast is, I'm going to be making egg cups and also overnight oats. And then for my lunches slash dinner, I will be making a buffalo chicken spaghetti squash casserole and also a chicken Santa Fe bowl. And then I also will be marinating some chicken to make salads throughout the week. So that is everything that I will be making this week. Now, my kids are pretty picky. Other than Madison, Madison is pretty good with eating, um, except when she has like her GI issues. So. I'm gonna be making a big batches, but I know my daughter will eat everything that I am making. So me and her will be eating from these dishes. And then as far as my husband and my son, they're super picky. So I'll still be having to make like lunches and dinner for them throughout the week, but at least I will have mine and Madison's out of the way. And then I won't be tempted to go out and eat fast food or stuff my face with stuff that is in the pantry. So I'll be doing that. I also will be cutting up and putting some fruit into containers. I bought a ton of fruit when I went grocery shopping the other day. So I'm gonna put it all in containers and wash it. So it is ready on hand for me to snack on if I want some snacks throughout the day. I also bought other snacks like plain Greek yogurt and stuff like that, but I just wanna go ahead and wash the fruit so it can be easier for me and the kids to just grab when we want some snacks. But enough of my rambling, let's go ahead and jump right into today's meal prep video. All right, you guys, so this is everything that I'm gonna be using to meal prep. Although I'm mad, I forgot to buy my yellow onion. So I don't have onion, which was supposed to be in this recipe, but I don't have it, so that's fine. I also need to go out and buy more eggs. My husband made a ton of eggs this morning, so now I'm only gonna have like three eggs to make for breakfast, but that's fine as well. I'll just go out during the week, but this is everything that I'll be using. So I have some of these large brown eggs I'll be using in my spaghetti squash recipe and also for breakfast. These are all the seasonings I'm going to be using, just some black pepper, some cayenne pepper, paprika, onion salt, some of this diced garlic, and then seasoned salt. Canned stuff, I'll be using some black beans, some crushed tomatoes, and then this coconut milk, which is only a tiny bit of this that's gonna go in the casserole, I believe. Hot sauce, liquid aminos, some honey barbecue sauce. If you guys have any suggestions on a good barbecue sauce that's low in sugar, um, let me know because this is the one that we usually use at home, but I know it's high in sugar, so I'm not gonna use a lot. I'm only gonna use a tiny bit of this to marinate my chicken in. Then some chicken broth, and then baby spinach, and then my salad, which I'll use for like my chicken, and then this spinach I'm gonna be using in my eggs. And then some chicken, I have it in this little blue container because I was defrosting it. And then my spaghetti squash. So that is everything. If I'm missing something, then I will let you guys know. All right, you guys, so to start off this meal prep, I am going to put my spaghetti squash in the microwave for about two to three minutes just to make it a little bit softer so it can be easier for me to cut. Although you're gonna see me cutting it and I'm still struggling, but I did put it in the microwave to try and help me cut it. Right now, I am just pounding some meat. I hate my chickens to be super thick. I like them to be thin, so that is what I was doing right there. And then I'm gonna quickly marinate it, and I just use a bunch of different seasoning. I used some fresh garlic, I used onion salt, I used paprika, um, seasoned salt, so just a bunch of different spices I'm going to throw in there. I also put in a little bit of barbecue sauce with also some liquid aminos, and I'm just going to marinate that while I'm prepping everything else, and then I will put it in the oven to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes it just depends on how big your chicken breast is or how thick it is 
now for my instant pot i'm going to put some chicken in my instant pot for my um spaghetti squash casserole that i'm going to be making so again i just threw in some chicken breast in my instant pot and used the same seasonings that i used for the chicken that you guys just saw me marinating and i'm going to cook it in there for maybe about five minutes and then it'll be good to go to shred so then i can throw that in my spaghetti squash dish and then I'm also going to be making in my crock pot my Santa Fe chicken. And in this, I am going to add some chicken breasts. Depends on how many people you guys are making this for. I did put two um, chicken breasts in there. I also will be adding in some chicken broth, same seasoning that I have been using for everything else. I also put some black beans and tomatoes in there. I'm gonna let it cook in the crock pot for about three to four hours on high. And then it'll be nice and tender so I can be able to shred up. I was supposed to put onions and peppers in here, but I completely forgot to buy it. So that is why you guys don't see any onions or peppers in there, but it still came out really good. Now that my spaghetti squash is pretty much ready from the microwave, I pulled it out, decided to go ahead and throw it in the microwave again, just because I felt like it needs to be in there for a little bit longer. Then I'll pull it out again. And then you're gonna see me struggling trying to cut it right here. Let me know how you guys cut your spaghetti squash because I seriously felt like I was struggling here. I edited it out a lot because it took me forever to cut into it, but eventually I was able to cut it open. And now that I finally got it open, I'm just going to take out all the seeds that were in my spaghetti squash, and then I will put it on a baking sheet with aluminum foil. The recipe did say to flip it over, so I that's why I did. I flipped it over, but I usually don't cook my spaghetti squash like that. I ended up taking it back out the oven and flipping it back over again, just because I feel like it would cook quicker like that. I don't know, it may just be me, but I did cook it for a while the way the recipe said, and then I just pulled it out and flipped it back over now i am going to be scrambling some eggs for my morning breakfast so i only had three eggs that were left to make from um, all my other recipes i was making so i just put in some salt some pepper and then i put in like a little sprinkle of cheddar cheese i poured it in to this measuring cup just to make it easier for me to pour when i put in my little cupcake little holders so i added a little bit of spinach and then poured the egg mixture into my cupcake pan and then i baked it in the oven i'm not sure maybe about 15 minutes you honestly do not need to bake it for that long and then once it came out it was perfect and i was able to scoop it out and put it in one of my glass containers now you guys are gonna see me mixing a bunch of ingredients together for my spaghetti squash casserole. So I have some coconut milk, some eggs, some seasoning. So I'm gonna try to link all these recipes down below just in case you guys are interested in trying any of these out. They all turned out delicious. They may not have looked the prettiest, but you guys, they were delicious. The only thing I would have done it different is the hot sauce. I wouldn't add as much hot sauce just because it was really spicy but if you guys like super spicy foods then you can just use exact measurements if not i would probably cut the measurement in half for the hot sauce Now that my chicken is ready from my instant pot i'm gonna go ahead and shred it all up and then i will throw it in that bowl that i have all my other ingredients in and once i'm done doing that i will shred my spaghetti squash literally mix everything in that bowl and then i did go ahead and spray a glass baking dish and i will put everything in there and bake it in the oven i believe i was supposed to bake it for about 45 minutes to an hour so that i'll be baking in the oven for about an hour Get you all, I will never leave, it's like my love 
Now my egg cups are done, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of my cupcake pan and just place them in a glass container. And these will be ready for the morning when I wanna eat some eggs for breakfast. I did eat this eggs and then I had some avocado toast to go with it. While everything is pretty much cooking in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and put some fruit into containers. So I have some pineapples that I'll be putting in a container and then I'm gonna wash all the other fruit, like my strawberries, grapes, and blueberries and put them in containers as well. I will cut up the strawberries and then divine all of my grapes. So once I am ready to snack on or the kids are ready to snack on some fruit, everything is already washed and cut up and ready. My marinated chicken is ready to be cut up. I did bake it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes on 425 and it is ready. So I'm just going to cut all that up. I'm going to be adding some of my mixed green salad in one of my containers. And then on the side, I'm going to be putting a little bit of grapes and also these mandarin oranges. I like to add a little bit of fruit on my salad. I don't always do it, but sometimes I do like to add that. So I did add a mandarin orange and a few grapes on the side to top it off. My spaghetti squash is done cooking in the oven so i'm going to go ahead and just pull it all apart it is very easy just to get the spaghetti squash out it just pretty much falls apart once i'm done doing that then you're going to see me throw it in to the bowl with all the other mixture and then i'm going to put it back in the oven in a baking dish for about 45 minutes and if you guys like cheese you can totally add cheese to this i didn't add cheese to it because the recipe didn't call for it but i'm pretty sure if you add cheese it'll make it even more delicious Moscato, you love LA. I miss Toronto. I feel like I'm on my own. We both know where this is heading. We both tried to write our own different endings. Started out with good intentions. Now we both are adding scars to our collections.
Now for the side, for my spaghetti squash, I'll be having some jasmine rice and I just took the easy way out and I'm just gonna microwave some of my Trader Joe's jasmine rice. Now I'm going to be making some overnight oats. This is going to be my second option for another breakfast. And I found this recipe on Pinterest. I will link it down below for you guys. So basically I just used one cup of whole grain oats, two cups of some oatmeal milk, and then I did put in some chia seeds, honey, cinnamon, and then I think that is it. And I put two cups of the milk, if you guys are wondering. I mixed all that up. And then on the other side of the container, I did have some fruit. So I had some blueberries and also some strawberries. And then I like to put granola on my oatmeal as well. So I did put a little bit of granola in there as well. I made sure that everything was separated just because I didn't want the granola to get like soggy while it's sitting in there overnight. So if you guys are wondering where I got these awesome containers, I got it from Dollar Tree and everything is separated. So the oatmeal is not gonna touch the granola or the strawberries until I am ready to eat it then I will unscrew everything and pour it in a bowl and eat it or if you're on the go you can totally eat this from the jar itself so everything is already prepped for me so when the morning comes if I want to have oatmeal I can have oatmeal or I can have eggs had a little bit of broccoli left as you guys can see and it was about to go bad so i decided to just go ahead and cook it as another little side so just in case you're wondering why i only had a little bit of broccoli and why i didn't cook more it is because this is all i had left and i just wanted to go ahead and cook it before it went bad so this is just like an extra side for my lunches or dinners because i am going to be eating this for either lunch or dinner depending on how i feel on that day now you guys are going to see me just placing everything in all the containers I have my jasmine rice. I did not measure anything out. So if you guys would like to measure it out, you can do like a cup or a cup and a half, but I honestly just eyeballed it and just split it up into the containers. Never said what's on your mind. The stupid lines you hit behind. I like Drake, you like Bono. You drink Jose, I sip Moscato. You love LA, I miss Toronto. I feel like I'm on my own. We both know where this is heading. so it is so much later it is around five o'clock now and i started this meal prep video around two it was like 2 30 when i started so it did take me quite a long time to do this but i did have a lot of interruptions with the kids thankfully right now the last like 45 minutes my husband did take the kids out for a walk around the neighborhood so that helped me out a lot so i just finished i'm going to show you guys how everything turned out i have a total of eight lunches and dinners and then four breakfasts so I only had three eggs left um, from the carton, so I was only able to make three of those like little egg bites, but one of them I plan on just cutting in half, so one morning I can have one and a half of those um, egg bites, maybe like a side of fruit or something, and then I also am doing two overnight oats, so I'll have a total of four breakfasts, and then I have two chicken salads, and then three spaghetti squash with broccoli, and then three Santa Fe chicken with jasmine rice. So I am set to go for the week other than Friday, which is fine. Fridays are usually the days that I run my errands and I usually go grocery shopping. So I don't mind not having anything for Friday, but I'm happy that I'm able to have these on hand. So during the week, I'm not tempted to go out to get like fast food or stuff in my face in the kitchen. So enough of my rambling, I'm gonna show you guys everything um, that is on the table really quickly. So let me show you guys how I have everything set up. All right, you guys, so this is the end results. I feel like I've been cooking for like five hours, but everything's finally done. It's all laid out. So over here, I have my Santa Fe chicken with some jasmine rice. I didn't show you guys the jasmine rice in the beginning. There's a few things I did not show you guys, so I apologize about that, but I'm gonna be leaving all the ingredients down below. But next time I will be putting onions and green peppers in here, but it still tastes really good. So some Santa Fe chicken with some jasmine rice, have three containers of that. Over here at the last minute, I decided to cook up the rest of our broccoli. We barely had any broccoli left, but it was about to go bad. So I just sauteed that on the stove top. And then this is the spaghetti squash casserole. It is pretty spicy. Next time, I think I'll put less hot sauce, but it still tastes really good. So have three of those. 
and then over here I have my salads so the chicken was really large so I just cut it in half and I split it in between these two salads and then on the side I do have some fruit to add on top I like to put like mandarin oranges and then also grapes on my salad so I have that there as far as breakfast, I only had three eggs left, so I was only able to make three of these like little egg bites. Had a little bit of cheese, spinach, and then seasoning, and then eggs. And then I did a splash of milk, and that'll be three egg whites, right? Or not egg whites, three whole eggs there. And then over here, I have my overnight oats I'll be putting in the fridge. So you guys saw me mix up. I have honey, um, cinnamon, chia seeds, oatmeal, mixed all that up. And then up here to top off, I'm gonna be putting some fruit and then also granola. I bought these little canisters from Dollar Tree just in case you guys are interested. And then over here, just to snack on, I have a bunch of fruits. So I have some pineapple, grapes, and then over here I have some blueberries and then in the bottom is some strawberries. So that is everything. So I am good until Thursday or Friday. Yeah, Friday I won't have lunch or um, dinner prepped, but I do have Monday through Thursday. Alright guys, so that is going to end my meal prep video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is only my second meal prep video I've ever filmed. So let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying it. I am going to have an updated video on my channel, what's going to be changing. It might be up before this. I'm not 100% sure. I have to sit down and film that. I haven't done that yet, but I am going to be rolling out a lot more fitness and healthy style videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope I gave you guys some ideas for yourself or your family for lunches and dinners and breakfast. I am going to be looking up some more meal prep video ideas and hopefully filming it for you guys soon. I think next time I'll just do it when the kids are in school because it was really hard to do it today. And I thought it would be best to do it on Sunday so I would be prepared for the week. But I think I'm gonna have to just do it on like Mondays so I won't have the kids with me and I can get through it really quickly. And then I guess like Sunday night, just whatever I cook, cook extra so I can have leftovers for lunch the next day. But anyways, I'm rambling now. So thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family if you are not already a part of it. As always, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.